let's please welcome our next act, Michael Zhuang. Uh, Michael. Hello. Twenty years ago, I came to this country on a scholarship to study mathematics in Carnegie Mellon University. The first time I stepped into the classroom, I was like, holy cow, I'm back in China. <laughs> half of the class are Chinese, the other half, they look like Chinese. <laughs> I'm now a proud American. I keep getting the same question though. Where are you from originally? I bet it is very difficult to guess. Let me tell you. Originally, I'm from my mother's womb. She dropped me in China. Not my first choice. It took me 15 years to become a US citizen. I must first get a job that no American can do. Like, like counting. <laughs> Next, I must pass a test that most Americans fail. Answering tough questions like, who is your senator? <laughs> and finally, I must stop driving like a Chinese. I'm still working on that. So stay away from me when I'm driving. I got my first job in the South, and I must tell you, they are the nicest people on earth. But, just between us Yankees, they got a thick accent. Very hard to understand. How annoying. I'm glad our church is offering a series of marriage counseling classes. The beginning level class is called preparing for marriage. The intermediate level class, staying in a marriage. And the advanced level class is most popular. It is called starting over again. <laughs> One alarming statistic I learned from the class is this. 50% of all marriages in this country end up lasting forever. <laughs> Very alarming. And 100% of all divorces starting from a marriage. I also learned that a man should always express gratitude to his wife, no matter what. <laughs> so I said to my wife, honey, thank you very much for cooking for me every day. Thank you for doing laundry every day. And thank you for having sex with me every decade. <laughs> Now, what I lack in frequency, I make up by marksmanship. That's how I have two beautiful babies now. And when my, when my older one was born, I was in the delivery room. And when he came out, it was like, wow, you are a beautiful American. See, it took me 15 years to become an American. And all he needs to do is to pop up our vagina. <laughs> I could have done that. <laughs> do you know you're a senator? <laughs> <laughs>